everyone, I'm Jackie, and this is going to be the crappiest re review I ever do because I've, I've recorded myself talking about this book, I don't know, four times already, and some my phone keeps crashing. So I really need to find a new way to record videos because this is kind of ridiculous. So I'm just going to give you a rundown of the book real quick, what I thought as quickly as possible. One, I thought this was amazing. I gave it five stars on Goodreads. Two, it was the best ending well, best ending I've ever read to a series, because usually I hate endings to series, except for Clockwork Princess, that was amazing. Three, so glad to see Gem and Tessa, so glad to see Gem and Tessa, as much as we did. Really? I mean, it was amazing. Emma and Julian and the rest of the Blackthorns, they were amazing, and I was kind of um, disappointed that we didn't get to see anything from Andrew Blackthorn, and Julian had to kill him in the end, and that was, that was really sad. If you don't already know, there's going to be spoilers in this, and you have to have read all of these books and the Infernal Devices as well, just so you know. Anyways, wow, um, the ending with Simon, that was really upsetting. I was crying every time they talked about Simon when, when saying that he didn't remember anyone. I was totally crying the whole time. And then when he called his band the Moral Instruments because they could never decide on a name. Oh my gosh, that was so amazing. Oh my god. Ugh. Simon is my favorite character besides Jay, so that was amazing. I'm so glad that eventually he started remembering and he remembered Clary at first because she's his best friend. They're like brother and sister. Like she doesn't even need Sebastian as Jonathan. Like if Jonathan was ever good, she wouldn't even need him because she'd have Simon and everything would be perfect. 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 I was really sad to see Jordan go, but I was really happy to see Maureen and Meliorn die. And come on, Sebastian, when he died, that was kind of epic. That was really epic because she trapped all the fire inside of her sword and then stabbed him when he tried to kiss her. And he didn't know what was happening. He did not know what was happening. And then he was dead. But when he turned into Jonathan, that was really sad. Like when he, when he turned and his, she said his eyes are green. I was like, oh my gosh. His eyes are green. He's not Sebastian anymore. This is crazy. And that part was kind of sad in a way because we know that... Jonathan could have been a, such a cool person like he could have had such a great personality but we'll never know because he's dead he's dead now this book actually had some typos did anyone notice that, that there were typos here's the first typo there are all sorts of ways of being better shouldn't they say there are the next typo is the tentacle loosed its grasp the tentacle loosed its grasp and the third one is still seeing the burst of last brilliance through them eyelids. Them eyelids? I mean, I know this book is 725 pages long, Cassandra, but are really, are you going to miss three typos? I've never found any typos in her books before. But all of a sudden, three. Overall, I really love this book. I'm really upset that everything I said got deleted because I was talking a lot. I went, I went, I went to depth about everything that happened. I had all these stupid freaking little post-it notes, and everything is gone. But I guess that's what I get for not recording this on an actual camera. I just, I'm not good with technology. I need to, I need to get like, I need to meet some people who work in who know stuff about technology and I need them to teach me everything so I can so I can never have my phone crash again because I don't know what happened there this uh so that's all I'm gonna say about the book because I just I don't want to risk it crashing again I'm not gonna I'm gonna try and make shorter videos maybe that was a reason why I don't know but before I go let me just tell you guys about how I decide on what I'm reading next. I write down all the books I have here for my TBR and I put them on paper, paper about this big and then I put them in a jar like this and I shake them all up and I just stick my hand in. It doesn't fit right but then I just pick one out. Um, but during the summer I have certain books that I want to read already so I already picked one and I picked The Program by Suzanne Young. So this is it. So I will be reading this next. Hopefully I'll read it fast. And hopefully I can make a video about it and that video won't crash. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry this video was really shitty. I don't know what happened. 
Anyways, again, thanks for watching. Links and stuff will be down there. Oh, and by the way, I got this idea from Katrina at um, Little Book Owl. So I'll put her video down there too. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm saying that a million times because seriously, thank you for watching. This video was terrible. <laughs> Bye.